So taking line temperature versus taking a pressure, they equal out the same. The idea behind taking a temperature of a line versus tapping in and checking the pressures on a line is to alleviate the need for tapping into the system, inserting your permanent ports, evacuating the system, all the labor that goes along with that. So what we wanna do is before we get to that level, we're gonna check our line temperatures. This can be done with either a wire thermometer, a wire thermocouple or a clamp on, either or, both work the same. Simply take your thermocouple. If you have this, you can just shove it up inside of your line. Get your temperatures that way, or take a piece of tape, strap it to the line. You don't want to hold it with your fingers because your body temperature is going to affect your reading. Get a clamp-on probe. Simply put it on the inlet of the condensing coil and check your meter and it will give you your inlet temperature on your condensing coil. Once you have this temperature, you can cross that over on a PT chart to reference what the actual head pressure is entering into that condensing coil. And you want to be right around that 30 over ambient. Uh, assuming a 70 degree, or in this case, a 75 degree ambient temp, we would expect to see right around that 30 over at 104 degrees right here at the inlet. Because 30 over ambient is the golden rule. Uh, you're going to have 27 over ambient, 35. This is just a rule. It doesn't mean that it's set in stone. You want to find the inlet of the evaporator. As you can see, here's our cap tube. Whatever metering device will be the same. Follow your metering device, get between that and the inlet. Put your clamp probe on there and you get your line temperature. And what we'd expect to see right here is our metering device enters into this evaporator. On a cooler system, we're going to see 15 to 20 degrees as a norm. The difference in temperature based on the unit you're operating on or working on is going to be at the inlet of that evaporator. On a cooler, 15 to 20 degrees is a sweet spot. On a freezer, negative 15 and negative 20. And if this is a static rail, a cold well, system, we'd expect around that zero degree inlet temperature. If you find that these temperatures here are not where they're supposed to be, let's say you have a low condenser and a high evaporator, there's a solid chance you have bad valves in your compressor or you have a refrigerant flow issue. Either way, it comes down to refrigerant flow, but that allows you to find out do I need to tap into this system? Checking line temperature saves you all the effort, time, and labor. You can check your pressures just by checking your temperatures, cross them over on your PT chart, and you know whether you do or do not need to move forward with tapping that system and going through that labor.